And welcome back to the final match of today between London Conspiracy and the Balkan Bears. This is a best of three and we're already on to our third match of it. And we had some great, well, first and second matches here. And we'll see if London Conspiracy is able to shake off the first loss. After having just won the second match as well, just get and just keep on seam rolling and also take this third and final match. What do you think, Dragon Drop? LC is going to take this or Balkan Bears say, well... We have Shadow Demon and Dazzle again. We want to win this. Well, I seem to remember that in the first game of the day, in the first draft, I called 2 1 for London Conspiracy, so I kind of have to root for them now, right? As You're stuck um, with it. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta stick with it, especially here with, with the kind of lineup that they did now. I mean, uh, they go back for the Wisp, which they run actually very well. I mean, they did, did end up losing that game, but. They did ha show some very good wisp play, so they know how to run this hero. And now they pull that together with an axe, which is other than a bristleback, a little bit more mid-game oriented. Can scale into late game, but only on the back of his of his berserker's call, which is always going to be a really strong, uh, really strong lockdown that goes through BKB. And one other thing that it does here is can nullifies the shallow grave from a dazzle, which can be the difference maker uh, in one fight or another. So I really like that first one two here from LC, and yeah, Balkan Bears they just go with what they know. Shadow Demon Dazzle first one two, then Nature's Prophet. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, actually, yeah, Shadow Fiend Bandow. So I'm not going to see that this time around though, at the very least. No uh, Lashrak. Lashrak, no Lashrak either. So never mind. Um, gonna have to think about something new now. Yeah. Let's see. Last match they picked up uh, Exist. Uh, they picked up the Slaughter. Didn't work out. So, uh, they yeah. kind of did what existed. Uh, they're very good slot of play. I yeah, really but it just, him and... it just didn't work out. The yeah. pick it, just, it fell a little bit short in the end. Yeah, at some point the BKBs came out. At that point, you just uh, okay. What do I do, right? And then you're in the middle of trying to fight up versus all the others, and they just yeah. completely destroy you. There's only so many right clicks that Sheriffing can do in the fights, and even Madara. I mean, he. Uh, on the Shrek, I mean, it's not, not a hero that you would usually pack to be super tanky, but at some point, yeah, the has got a lot of armor to play with, and even with the minus armor coming out, he was actually quite resistant to the right clicks, even when, when, when he had the BKB running, so, yeah. LC just got too far ahead in, in the last game. Yeah, and they just uh, made sure point. that they didn't yeah. lose their, uh, yep. their advantage either, so. Played very safe, very cool, calm, and collected. There. And, and Skylark as well on the clockwork. I mean, gotta give a shout out to him. There was some uh, top notch clockwork play as well. Yeah, I only saw one hook there that was like, well, why did you do that? The hook to the queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly which one I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> that was like, what? It was like, what? Oh, not to that one hook into the Roach Pit up uh, uh, into five men. That's also a little bit questionable. Yeah, that was. Taking that fight. Yeah, they still, but... they still got an okay trade out of it yeah it's it wasn't devastating <laughs> for them but it also was didn't really gain them anything in fact they lost a couple of uh, bloodstone charges there as well it was yeah that was kind of odd but yeah, yeah. it just played well apart from that yeah <laughs> yeah pretty good the balkan bears they're still gonna go with their push lineup now they have a yeah. dk i actually like that uh, kind of surprised that we didn't see that here i think i think it was banned though in, in one of the other games i want to say i'm not mistaken but yeah that's a hero that's Slowly but surely, I think coming back into into the common public mind when it comes to proteins, because with the brief fire buff that he got, he's actually a really strong laner now against a lot uh, a lot of mid matchups. Especially uh, also up against any sort of wisp mid matchup. I mean, you're still not going to be able to win the lane straight up because of that. Up against the wisp plus one, because you're still never going to be able to out harass the other other team. But you, you're able to stand your ground, you're able to be um, survive, uh, survivable with that damage reduction now coming out from that brief fire. Um, and I'm yeah, just wondering... The, the pushing component. I mean, yeah. once you hit level 6, once the uh, once your yeah, opponent in the mid lane rotates out, you pop that level 6 and you take down a tower, and then later on you're just that tanky hero in the, in the center of the fights that throws out stuns on... Instant stuns here on, on range and stuff like that. I'm just still wondering what this lonely conspiracy to do going to do with I. Is this gonna be an IO X or an IO gyro or if they're just gonna pick up something else as well, maybe a mid tiny or something even a bristleback? Nah, bristleback they won't, but 
don't really see a tiny here. Don't know that they have room for that. I mean, they already have the gyro and the axe. They kind of. Um, do you do you want to go to get it with the X there? That's there's an eye. Like it's fine, just ganking wise, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a little bit odd. It really depends on what the situation calls for. I mean, if you want to go gank, you hook up with the X. If you want to just fight straight up, you just link up with the gyrocopter so you can be more survivable. So. I don't really know. I, I don't think that's gonna be with plus one for the entire game. That's not how they're gonna play it. I mean, just gonna link up with whoever whoever is needed there in that specific situation. And I do think that they're still looking for a solid offlane. The Clockwork actually is still in the pool, not been banned out. Maybe Balkan Bears will pick that up, but they already have the Nature's Prophet, so I don't really think so. No, but... they're, they're looking for the safe lane. And they're gonna they go, go with Slaughter again, okay. So essentially, it's the exact same draft, but. With a DK. And the Zeus here, okay, so... A mid-Zeus. Mid-Zeus, yeah, with Kaiser on top of that. Then Skylock on the Axe. So, what do you think? Dual lanes or, or an aggressive trial in here from LC? Honestly? <laughs> it, minds. Uh, you're not gonna usually do an aggressive trial lane with an I or an X is not really that yeah, strong, it's... actually, on level 1. They can actually just, they can only really throw somebody back there. I think maybe dual lanes in the beginning just to give Skylock a little bit of an edge there, but even that is doubtful. Well, Skylock is at least getting a lot of regen, so it is going to be your offlane. Actually, Wisp not going for the quick bottle build, so yeah, it's looking like that duo offlane more and more. The Mitsus and yeah, that duo safe lane with Madara and add the Rubik here on top, so going to shift at some point, one would imagine, but actually curious to see how, how well this works out. I mean they do have a lot of region between them. So um, X might just be able to to dominate the lane like you would be able to for, for example with a diver behind you just being able to heal you up and keep your topped up and alive. But yeah, I uh, can actually take a quick look at the lineups here as the smoke will not have any fruits it looks like here on the side of the Balkan Bears. We do have Cube on the Shadow Demon, Miracle playing the Dragon Knight out of mid, Exist once again on the Slaughter, which leaves Nihis on his Dazzle for the third time now in the series and uh, the last one will be Hook once again on the Nature's Prophet. They're still looking for someone here on top before we go to the lineup of LC. But they're not gonna be able to find anybody, it seems like. At least, not gonna get close enough. So, we have uh, Skank playing the Rubik. We have Madeira playing the Gyrocopter. We have Geezer playing the Zeus. And on the bottom lane, we have Skylark together with uh, Spartan here. And they're actually <laughs> gonna do this, uh, this dual lane, indeed. Yeah, and with BB dodging it like that, then Skylark and Spartan will just be able to dominate this, uh, the Stapes' Prophet. And sure, he will be able to maybe keep the Creep Wave away a little bit from Tower or drag it across, but... What's he really going to be, to, to be able to accomplish with these with these streams? Not a whole lot, all things considered, I mean... Oh, they're just gonna move around this Creep Wave a lot, and that's actually that's just gonna be the end of it. And... Yeah. That means that he still has to pull them all the way back to the next creep wave again. Because Skylark is not going to get too low on health anyway with uh, Spartan being here and... Oh, what? It seems like uh, uh, the SD dive for the courier. But why uh, would he be there ever? Well, he wants to get the boulder snipe. Yeah, sure, you want to get the courier snipe, but you don't go under the tier 1 for that, never. Uh, no, not, not there at least. <laughs> it's... I don't know. I yeah. don't know what happened there. I wish I had that 10 second replay. If, you, if you're watching the cloud, you have that and you can just uh, berate us for our, for us missing that first part, but that should never happen. But another kill that might happen here is down the bottom line. Look, will fall here. Teleport come out. One will get cancelled. Yes. Oh, actually, Spartan going in deep tel <laughs> with the teleport outs. Yeah, you just want to give us a little bit more of damage yeah. from Skylock. And you were just able to dodge it because he ate a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Funny play there, it doesn't really... He's still gonna get found though. Yeah, right, Bomb. That's another call for an extra armor. He might just try to turn this one around, but... Yeah, he won't be able to, he will die. I think if you ran there, you would've been alright, but... I don't know. Nah, there was already a... 
TP coming in from the Nature's Prophet, so he would have yeah. died anyway. Oh well, unfortunate. Not having TP scroll there. I actually I did have a TP scroll. Hmm. Could have teleported out when he was still over here. I don't know. I was just he afraid of getting would... disrupted then and losing his his TP scroll because of it. Because if you then try to TP and it does get cancelled and you get killed after that, that means pretty much just uh, what is it, 40 seconds of the lane or so. Yeah. With now it's just a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's a good point. So I'm kind of choosing the lesser of the two evils. Yeah. If you're gonna accept that you're gonna die, you might as well take the small road. But, but, but who is just getting nothing here? <laughs> yeah, with that, I mean, uh, the sports rotate back out of that lane again and Galak just continues to do what he's been doing before and with the Wisp also being here, so. Even stacking up the small camp for yeah, themselves, man. essentially. You always gotta make sure that you stack up the enemy jungle. It's a very important place. <laughs> and they, yeah, you even see just the three ends walking around here. This is <laughs> just can't keep my eyes at the spawn lane because it's so it's so not going like a normal lane goes <laughs> in Dota. <laughs> <laughs> essentially, you have like a creep wave that goes to the tier one of the radiant, and then the other creep wave just nine to ten times takes a shortcut yeah. through the entire jungle. It just goes on a on a school trip almost. Yeah. Feels like from the woods. It's but just... yeah, this top lane, which should actually take a little bit more of a look up here, as it's a little bit more interesting in the grand scheme of things. Dark Copter and Rubik up against this trial and then yeah, exists actually. Oh, hook that as well. Whoa. Oh, no it's one for one threat. It was actually attacking the tower instead of uh, giving the uh, the aggro to the three ends. Okay. That's quite odd. But yeah, th this tower's gonna fall now, with, especially with Thug not being able to drag the creep wave now. So that's an early tier 1 tower. Kaiser did die in mid for some... Oh wow, Spartan has to be careful not to die himself. Uh, yeah. I don't know how Kaiser did, but he did end up falling there to the Dragon Knight. Okay, oh, top lane. Now all of a sudden action all over the map. Oh, my Sunny drop us a lot of damage to exist. And one last tower shot. One another, no, not with the heals. Should not be enough to bring him down. Oh, actually, it is. Never mind. I'm There's stupid. the flak cannon coming out. <laughs> oh, flak cannon. Okay, that was it. And he is getting out. Should be alright. Lift on Quepe! No! Yes! Ah, yes! Just, just! Not the lift does get the fable and the creep, creep damage was barely enough to bring him down. That is just. A millisecond of surviving there. It's gonna be not the worst way And they're gonna die. look in middle again. Hook comes in. Oh. Looking for a target here. And there you go, they're gonna run piece. underneath the tower. The three ends are there. That's gonna be the Dragon Tail. Refire to finish him off. There you go. Miracle picking up a kill there. And they will try and transition this into tower push if they can. Yeah. Very sneaky play from Hook there, teleporting right there in that gap. And opening himself up away with the three ends. And yeah. They're of course committing that Dragon Knight Ultimate. They should be able to, at the very least, dish out a lot of damage to the tower if he keeps up that corrosive breath. Alright, we actually have Axe, not quite with the Blink Dagger yet, but... It's only a six minutes in. Here. <laughs> he's, he's already so close, so... <laughs> yeah, now they're gonna go anyway here with the interception coming in. They do get stunned up, so it does not get the call just yet. And this probably even to keep him away. Very nicely done, so... Ooh. Almost any heroes just yet. Cube though, maybe in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Just turn for the disruption, so he should be alright. Mm. Uh, Dragon Tail is off cooldown again, but Miracle is actually quite low already on HP. Yeah, he has to use it on Sky. Like, and now everybody is low. And they actually uh, just get uh, get Miracle <laughs> here. A little bit oh. over aggressive while well, Madeira just walks in the back, gets off a nice rocket barrage, and another kill going his way. I don't know where all that damage was coming from. It was just a Zeus, right? On, on, on and Hook as well, well as Sh uh, Shadow Demon? Well, you know, Nature Prophet and then. The Shadow Demon are fairly squishy, so getting a yeah. tentacle ref on your face actually hurts quite a lot. So... It was kind of a weird fight, because... X was just walking in, not there with Blink Tank, but yeah, he has an uh, Oak, right now. Oak thinks Oak. he can fight versus two support, but yeah, he needs Exist to help him out here. Uh, They're gonna shit. be a rotation in as well. Well, this uh, kind of reveals that some of these coming from the river. Yep. Yeah. Well, if they knew that Hook so didn't actually have a TP, then maybe they can make some sort of play with the call down. But they kind of assume that he's he's teleported out by now. But and what a weird game! A really weird fight in mid. I mean, just X oh, looking oh. for that 
looking for that uh, that call, but being stunned up, being sprouted up, and not having blink dagger yet at that point. Kind of uh, not like it hurt him because they were getting a really good fight out of it anyway, but just kind of a uh, kind of like a cheese or something like dangling in front of Skylark's face. Like, hey, here's a good call, but you can't get to it because you need the blink. But he has it now, so. Yeah, that's gonna be a little different. bit different now. Miracle, he has to look out quite a bit. Actually, want to look for somebody else. Yeah, they actually get to disrupt here. Off. And blown up. And the Turner goes ref. Let's go one. out! Oh, Berserk is called to one dunk, however, only. Gyrocopter is able to pick up one, and he is. Yeah, he has to grave himself. Fair, this is a rocket barrage. He's not even gonna get it off. Double kill for Madeira already. But at Dominate. what cost, Sander? At what cost? Well, essentially everybody that was <laughs> in the vicinity <Yeah>. there <laughs> and now exists, they want to go for him, they just... Oh, what? Oh, he gets lifted up a little bit more back and there you go. They will still follow it up. No dunk for you, Madeira <laughs> wants it. <laughs> Called out Hook. He just came in here with the, with the TP. He has a teleport on cooldown. He can use it now though, but he's staying a little bit close. He might want to get out of here. What, are, what is he doing? He's trying to fight a versus Hook. Oh, there's gonna be the Dragon Tail, and yeah, he's actually gonna kill him off there. Another Berserk is called here in the back, and no dunk for him either because Zeus is using his lightning there to kill him off. Spartan, he's trying to lure Miracle in, but that, <laughs> he just gets blown up by the Breath of Nature here. Buyback, use! He wants to go back in straight away and give Skylark uh, some support here. Miracle, low, they can almost dunk him. There you go. <laughs> and now he's just and gonna I'm take really him back. Out. It's just the plays from this wisp back in said only once more. Just so freaking good. But yeah, if you actually look at the uh, fight recap, it's actually in favor of the uh, the Balkan Bears. But I don't think that all that's, the kills are on here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably only because of uh, Madara going down. It's kind of happened a lot. That's like big well, kills actually, Exist goes down again. Bloop. I mean, Madara was just like, alright. I lost my killing spree, but only because I want to get another killing spree. And now they're trying to go on, uh, and go on Madeira here, but he's still Shouldn't fairly tanky. He's, he's still yeah. being taken down by the poison, but it's only Ooh. level 1, I want to say. And yeah. He's fine. Yeah, yeah Spartan, he has some bullet charges. He can heal him up. He even has an, uh, an health potion if need be. Yeah. Could just pass it over if necessary, but yeah. Look there right now. But yeah, uh, Madara going down in that earlier fight, which I was kind of hurting them, and of course with the Wiz buyback, I mean, it's, it's relatively cheap, but still, it reflects in that uh, fight recap at the very least. Yeah, but if you look oh, at the graphs, you see that it's, yeah. it does heavily go in favor, because if you're dead again, it just means that you don't yeah. farm. That's really hurting them, especially in this early game, which is just heavily in favor of, uh, of LC, with having the yeah. top net worth with three of their cores. <laughs> That's the biggest part of the story. That's the kind of takeaway that you have to have from that. I mean, X sitting right on top there with a blink, and now working on um, on the Vanguard with that Ring of Health picked up. And Kaiser also is up top there with Midas, actually. Okay, Midas after the Soul Ring. So interesting, but it will definitely they want to be ready and stay on top. Game. And yeah, if it goes late game, you are gonna have that steady source of income and also levels, which are quite important on him as well. It's a Zeus. He just really uh, profits from that. They see him, yeah. and yeah, there's going to be a disruption. This is going to be an easy dragon tail there for uh, for Miracle. And Kaiser just gets blown up, but they come in with a relocate. One call at least. Dunk. Oh, no, he doesn't want to do this. Now he <laughs> wants to. There you go. Double kill, double dunk. Happy life here for uh, Skylark. And no, again, uh, what cost? Available in one second. It uh, no, it's off the, the mark. He was close, though. But yeah, once again, at what cost? Three heroes die again. I mean, sure, you get the Zeus, which is great, but... Zeus has a Midas, so he actually he doesn't <laughs> get hurt by that too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, only if it's of cooldown. Okay, it's of cooldown now, so that do does hurt him a little bit in the end. He has a Midas, so even if he dies a couple of times, he will just get yeah. back into it anyway. But at the same time, the other two cores are just getting further and further ahead. Even if you shut... I mean, BB is trying to shut down one, but they lose all the heroes, so they actually end up buffing up the other cores more, so... And yeah, actually, LC kind of our final going late game here, with Gyrocopter also going for that greedy farming build with the Helm of the Dominator. After the phase, uh, Finger of Aquila, and now into Yasha, yeah. Kind of as farmy as it gets. The one weird thing I, I, I want to say here is that he hasn't... 
taken over a creep yet. They're not using it to stack the Asians yet. Yeah. Oh, Miracle. He has been seen. He is going to get lift up here. There you go. He's going to be a pullback. We're going to see a dunk. Nope. Free fire kills him off. Killed by your not own poison. Not worthy of the dunk. No. Or, no, Skank is just saying, my kill. <laughs> I lifted yeah. him out. I did the heavy <laughs> lifting. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're just gonna get this tier one here. Well, at the same time, Hook is trying to uh, push our top a little, getting it low. And then really good spot now. And right now, Barkin Bears can't really fight back. Sure, you have a Dragonite, which is gonna be your highest farm hero. Get out, get out! Oh, just in time. Oh wow, that was close. Um, and Tower hasn't been denied. <laughs> I mean, sure, you have Dragonite now as the highest farm tier on the side of DD, but it doesn't really have as big effective item yet. He's still working on that. Oh, bird use, but now the combo! Yeah, it's yeah. Miracle here, but the first initial is kind of slow, but ah, they quite can't enough. Yeah. Still okay for LC. Eh, it's just a call down. It's for yeah. 40 seconds. Yeah. Not, not too high of a commitment. Yeah, it's just a little bit as well, which is a little bit longer, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. They keep the map control, they keep BB away from that juicy, juicy tower gold that they desperately need because they need to finish up that um, the Shadow Blade and Dragon Knight, and then maybe they can do something with him. They also need to have the Blink on Slara. Once these two core items come up, then it's a little bit easy for BB to execute, but LC. Then they have really an initiation. Yeah. Like now they're just. Think of initiating Skylark here, looking for exist on top. That should be a solo kill here. Maybe. Oh. No, not, not, really. not be sprinting <laughs> out, okay. We got the call off earlier before the stun, and maybe you would. And yeah, and the one problem here is right now for BB is that as long as they don't have a Shadow Blade nor a Blink Dagger on Nexus, that just means that uh, they have to walk into the enemy. And when you walk yeah. into the enemy, you really just start to get clustered up, and then you just get called yeah. all the time. Don't uh, want to walk into a call down, into a rocket barrage, into Zeus just throw, throwing spells at you and all sorts of blink acts. It's, it's not a fun time, not by like that. Essentially, did you get double called there? So. That's just oh, gonna look. be devastating. Top lane. Ah, uh, no! And another really used. use. Taking a little bit too long. I think he had vision on him for much, much longer than that. Uh, really unfortunate play there. I don't know what happened, but who knows. Yeah, that's really okay down, and that's actually a big deal. BB now can play a little bit more safe, can make sure that they get this item, their items up, and Dragonite now is about to get this, uh, get the Shadow Blade. Yeah, once they get their items, they have to start getting something done, yeah. essentially. They have to get a pick up into finishing off that tier 1 town mid, and maybe or to push down tier 1 bottom to actually get back into this game in terms of net worth. Yeah, because even if they get the items and they don't do anything with it, LC would just keep on out farming them. They have the better farming tools right now, so... And as well, it's just the hero composition is just better at farming. Yep. Those were a couple of spins in a row there coming out of Skylark. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's... They just want to defend the towers at all costs. They're not too... Yeah, worried about pushing in. He finds Hook here. Yeah, it's gonna be the call, but this is just one person here. Yes, guys. Yeah, Hook, he was thinking about getting his uh, his experience in the fray there, but that would just mean spins. Yep. He still uses them on him, that's kind of odd. Okay. Green dude's top thing is about to yeah, Trian's kind of the oh. worst thing if you're trying to fight up against an axe. Yeah, you're just giving him free spins essentially, because you're not really yeah. doing him damage, maybe like one or something. Yeah, if he calls, you literally do no damage, I would say. I mean, with 40 extra armor. Now they're gonna go for middle. There's no fortification, so they might actually just be too late already to do anything about this. X is not here. Gang walks forward, throws him back. The tower's still taking quite a lot of damage here. Rapper also walks into the back, but there's a ton of Rev coming out. The tower will fall already, and now they're gonna just fight here at the Ripper. They find Miracle, they find Quepe. Do they have Skylark with a bling? No, it's still on cooldown. Miracle, he walks into the, uh, into the rush. Hey. Balls? Don't oh. have detection, the balls actually don't scare them out either, uh, so... No. Wow! <laughs> but this, this might just be... Uh, now. Yeah, this is not worth it. Miracle, please! Yeah. Please! <laughs> Think about what you've done. You got a Rubik, and you give up your own life. At what cost? Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Got these guys are gonna kill. But, oh, yeah. I 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, tough. This is not good. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is tough. <laughs> but XJ says he has a bleak. But they're already walking through. Relocating. Okay. Oh, where are they going? Top lane, okay. But they they want to find Hook and they will dunk him as well and find. Yeah. Spin, spin, spin! Creep wave, a lot of gold going the way of Axe. And yeah, speaking of gold, look at the network distribution here. And they actually exist with an Ingmasoon. Might, might be an opportunity no. to go back in, but. Uh... This is what I said. As long as they don't do anything, you just see the grabs keep on going down, just to the fact that they have better farming tools. And the fact that they get kills. <laughs> that also seems yeah. to be working. Skylark uh, tried to steal the boots here from uh, <laughs> from Scan. <laughs> uh, weave. Oh no! There's, oh. This is gonna be a nice initiation. There's gonna be a, a dead IO to start off with. Exist gets pulled back a little bit more into the uh, call there again. But Madeira he just tries to zone him out. It is a missed uh, call here, but he will still die. There we go. Now Madeira he gets stunned up by Miracle. He is gonna take the fall as well. Skylock, ah, this is just a one-man call and he has to start backing up. Now he's stuck in the trees and, uh, yeah, exists. Blinks in, wants to kill, but uh, Nia says, no, it's mine. Hey, yeah, a little bit of a gifted horse there from LC with that kind of fight. I mean, it's kind of a one after the other. If we're dying first after that excellent three-man crush from Slaughter. And then the Madara and then, then the Axe. Now they just go ready. for the rush. Yeah. Nice, minus... Uh, Armor coming out here. Yep. Weave as well, still on top of them. Starting to tick up quite nicely and... Uh, well, that's it, that rush. No. The big gold by it actually is. Should put it around, back to 5,000, yeah, and experience also. Back to about 7,000. Still in favor of LC, but... Can't really afford too many of these kind of blunders, and, and actually, yeah, Wisp dies again. Oh, I didn't see that. I was actually looking at the, uh, the double stack uh, being stolen here by Miracle. Oh yeah. Which, uh, Wisp can be can be alone. That's not what the hero is made for anyway. Yep. Yeah. What? What? Okay. Did you blink there? Okay. Uh, no, he actually blinked from here to here, and then he called. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe think that the dragon might be there. I don't know. Uh, he just hated those trees. Yeah. <laughs> and even if he did call towards the tower, he wasn't even near the vicinity of the tower then. He would have still been, what is it, 200 units behind it, so it's... yeah. Who knows, who knows. What I do know though is that the Dragonite now was able to pick up the Silver Edge with the amount of money that he's been, he's been able to get, and it's a really crucial item up against not just the Axe, which is kind of the most obvious thing, uh, yeah, to save counter Helix rates, but also up against the Zeus. If you mention this able at static field, which is is actually a huge amount of his damage output, all things considered, then especially sudden, versus tanky targets, yeah, like a DK. And, and all of a sudden, there's a lot of the Zeus magic damage out of the picture, and you have a little bit of an easier time um, in the fights. So that silver edge going to is, it has the potential to do a lot of work. And he's actually looking for a kill here, also with the DD in his uh, bottle, but. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna fight some juggle creeps here. And uh, they kind of try and transition this into a top uh, push here. They still have the Aegis and, uh, and the DD as well, so there's no real reason for them to not try it. Caldam has been used. Hard and he's on bot. He needs to get Skylock next to him, and actually Skylock mm -hmm. is just gonna TP top. Miracle, he sees uh, Madeira. Oh! Oh, they see him now! Yeah! I go with the lift. Is it enough damage though? No, not oh. quite yet. There's oh, gonna be the blink in from Skylark. He finds Quepe. Quepe is gonna get called down. They're looking for more. There's gonna be the relocate forward. He's taking Keyser with him. He's taking a lot of damage. He's able to get off his, uh, his Shadow Grave here and actually TP out. What? Yeah, no stable in time. Yeah, Axe didn't have the blink available and didn't get in range for the call. So No Lightning Bolt either to stop it? Yeah, he used it before, that I think, sucks. as well. Unfortunate. That's, uh, that sucks. It was also fun to see that Rubik actually stole teleportation from the uh, Nature's Prophet. Now he has uh, oh. Shadow Grave. Yeah. It's always nice to have three TPs. Yeah. Shadow Grave level 1, not exactly, not exactly the ideal spell to steal from Rubik because it's a really it's narrow situation. You have to that's, get close. You have strong. to get close and it's also... 
Well, not just... a lot of situations where I can actually make use of that. I mean, you could have used the safe IO if he was near to, near him, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what I was exactly doing there. I don't see any wards put out and he doesn't have, even have any wards with him. So I'm just gonna assume it was for the, for the rune spawn, but... Yeah. Maybe a little bit too greedy there. Then at the end of the day, it's only an IO. That's the one hero on the team that you can afford giving away. Well, Almost over and over again. I mean, sure, it will add up eventually, but... You're better off giving If you him lose away. a hero, then it, it, you want to lose the IO. Over Skank, I would say that I would actually give up Skank for IO. Just because IO has the... Uh, yeah, you can just use to relocate and you can keep somebody alive longer. And say it's worth a little bit more at the moment. Yeah. But, but but not not when when he's gonna be back up before no, anything happens. Right? That's true. So. Then it do, then it even doesn't matter if you lose Rubik or Io. It's all the same. But again, Rubik uh, kind of wants to have that goal to start working on on a four star. I mean, he's still quite quite poor, even much poorer than the Io, which is kind of sad for him. He only has the Tranquil Boots and the Bracer and the Magic Wand. Eh, your support is more than enough. Mm -hmm. I'm always happy if I even get boots or upgrade <laughs> boots for that matter. Because here, look at this, Nias, he just has his boots, not even yep. upgraded. Just ignore the medallion, the stick, the urn, the energy booster, the... <laughs> doesn't matter. Point booster, okay. That's that okay. already. That's not worth it, that's the... Yeah, you, you should just sell it and build, uh, build some <laughs> tranquils or something. But he's gonna be building another Aghanims here. Why would you build tranquils on Dazzle? Mm. I don't know, looks cool. More armor. <laughs> he's having no boots. Or uh, ground boots. I think would have expected arcane boots from him by now. It's kind of actually you know, something that's always useful. Yeah, or BOTs. Uh, just save your boots for now. Just build, build into BOTs and uh, <laughs> what is it, the minute 50 or something. <laughs> it's nice with the. Uh, with uh, what is it? With Nature's Prophet, you can just go to the. to the tree ends. Yeah, but on the support dazzle. <laughs> it would be funny. Well, it exists! <laughs> He's not but gonna get this. Yeah, oh, oh no, what? Oh, oh it's still, it's still be a stunk. There we go. Weppe, he tries to walk in and get the disruption up, but uh, he might just die for this, yeah. There we go. Dunk. Double dunk. Skylark is happy. He gets closest to a beat these. I might actually have to be a carry dazzle at some point here as he does survive. Does teleport out on the cover of Shallow Grave, so. Now actually, Miracle kind of cornered. Maybe he's Force about to look at him out. Make him one. Blink in one second. Oh, oh wow. just in time. He has to get the hell out of there right now. And he will and now. Yeah, but it's just going to be falling here. Dyer's top tower is under That's a dead miracle. Yeah. yeah, I almost took Spartan with him though, but... Oh wow, that was actually scary there for a <laughs> second. <laughs> but yeah, he will survive. It's all good. Now I can just... Heal up anyone. Not that they need healing. Oh, this is... Uh, now they're gonna get the tier 2 as well. Uh, we I mean, I'll see something a little bit with that one uh, bad team fight or one on one on one pick off there. But now it's all back to... Yeah, it's, it's, back to it's kind of back into their grasp now. Like, okay, it's six, but Aura is still on top with the BKB finish and... It's actually, at the moment it's actually the same. It's the same as before about. Yeah. And after yeah, this tower it definitely is. Here we go. Madara can now start thinking about the real damage item. I mean, uh, something like MKB or. This. But fly. Butterfly. I would expect Butterfly. Yeah, that's fine, item here. Don't see any evasion coming out of uh, off the Balkan Bears anytime soon. No, and neither I'm going to see them picking up an MKB either. Well, the Slaughter. This is what we talked about also last game. Like, if you're just going to get the uh, Slaughter all the time, he gets really far behind and he just can't catch up anymore. And yep. now you can see it's 252 and he's just trying to build up his next item, but yep. if you look at the net worth, Nii is, he's, uh, he's about a K under him and he's the position 4 support, so... Yep. In, yeah, BB is now working on the BKBs, the question is, can they get their BKBs off before Gyrocopter gets that big damage item? Because it's... and then he's, he does uh, choose the... Butterfly. Uh, choose the Butterfly. So, that's kind of the, the one thing that's always the... Um, the slump of the Jara Cup. I mean, you're really good in the early game with the magic damage, always have been with the call on as well. Those spells will peter off in the late game, and then at that point, you 
uh, you have a big damage item and you do a lot of work with right clicks and a flat cannon. And in the mid game, you have the kind of little bit of a slump where you don't quite have oh. that big damage yet, but the magic Oop. damage is still petering up. And they're gonna back and off here to see two TPs coming out. Okay, Skylark. Try and turn around, but four stops should be able to keep them safe. They're not gonna catch them up. And it was just another two support, uh, two supports to yep. of two supports, and actually exists as well. They also TP then. Three TPs. Yep. And this pretty good actually, you know. Yeah, Miracle just being, being forced out and low sham open open up. Yeah, see oh! 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 That was like one unit or something like that. That was really, really close. Oh, what was sand until here, not further. That was really close, but if they actually walked straight into the rush, they would have already had it in the bed now. Well, it doesn't look like they really want to go for it yet, though. No, they miss uh, they miss a gyro. They want to give it to him, of course. And he's just busy defending top. Yeah. Oh, also, don't really have the best Roche lineup. No minus armor, not really huge amount of physical damage now just yet. Yeah, just to finish off my point real quick, I mean, normally you have that little bit of mid-game slump from the Gyrocopter because you have to build that BKB and don't really have that physical damage yet, but the magic damage is petering off, but in this game, Thanks that slump is going to be very short if it exists at all, just because they've been doing so well. He already has his BKB, so there's no slump. Yeah. Like he has 8 kills, so that's not that weird. Yeah, B just because the BKBs are not up yet on the side of BB also, so... Means he's super effective and Zeus might be struggling going forward. He does have the Bloodstone now, but he can throw a lot of spells, but he has to be careful about not just committing heavily into BKBs. But Nii is actually opted to go for the back for the solo crest. Just a casual energy booster for now. Yep. I like this a little bit more. It's a bit of an easier build up and it gives you value right now and not over 10 minutes. Once you just finally finish the Aghanims then. Yep. I don't need it now. They need it ASAP. If they're the gonna get in rush is, now. Uh, uh, actually gonna be a, it's a really crucial item up against the Gyrocopter, especially now since he um, he's not going for an MKB just yet. He can still switch it up right now, like, just having a casual uh, Desmond of Evasion is fine. Yeah. But he needs to spot out the uh, solar question now then and decide to change it, but... And he won't, he's just gonna commit fully to it and he has it done. I mean, uh, at this point you're, you're going to be able to deal with that. Um, but I think, um, yeah, I mean, who, who are you gonna put that on? I mean, if you put it on Gyrocop, it kind of sucks, but it's still not going to affect the flat cannon shots. If you put it on Miracle like that, I mean, sure, it's also, also gonna suck, but I think you can deal with that. You have enough control on the side of LC to um, just not care too much. We have his use on Madeira, so he's gonna start losing some armor, but he's still fairly tech. And look at his solo crest. Now he starts to get well, yeah. very low on his ma on this uh, armor here. He's actually gonna go far below zero if he gets another solo crest on him. Yeah. Mushan well. a bit. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a tense situation right now because. Oh, so you want to get this Roshan? BB kind of want to stop at exist now, walking in. Has the blink stump available? Dragonite undercover silver action. No sentry action here. Oh. And they're actually gonna go for the back here. And he get off this three man berserker. And he's just gonna start chopping right now. Nee, he's just gonna get chopped. No, he's not even chopping them. He just keeps on running. Exist. He actually gets the counter kill here on the Rubik, but he will will get chopped off. Chop shop available. Miracle. He tries to run away with his silver edge, but uh, well, he has an haste, so he's actually fairly speedy. But he turns around, tries to get a kill, but. That doesn't matter because there's another chop triple kill for Skylark. That triple call. Just won them the fight. That won them the fight, absolutely. Won them the Roche and then I mean, even though... Lose them the tower on top. Um, yeah, BB almost turned the fight around with three men, uh, three men crush from Slaughter there, but... Yeah, as I said, they... Dragonite as good as he is, he just not quite enough if he's your main damage leader. I mean, he's kind of that anchor hero that can can dish out a lot. That kind of uh, some point forces a reaction out of LC, forces them to go on you. But the rest of his team is already dead because of the three men called, and LC does have the space for that. And yeah, Are they gonna that find was a two man call. Then maybe Dragonite has some more space to actually right click more, a little bit more, and then 
maybe they win the fight because they got pretty damn close. But they're close enough. They're actually no. gonna fight uh, Spartan here and he's just gonna die right here. They did use uh, an Orchid frame as well. The Aerocopter is also actually getting quite low here. He's gonna see some, uh, some three ends. Yeah. And oh, well, here. but he, they were ready. There was gonna be the call. Call down used as well. Nias he tries to run away and should be able to do so, but Axis will die. What? On the back lane, he still dies? Okay, well, that doesn't matter because Miracle is trying to fight. Miracle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not gonna win this fight. He even misses. And Madeira, he still has his uh, Zegas. Four men down on BB. This might just be high ground. They have no buybacks. Yeah, that might be high ground. <laughs> exactly, I mean. But I don't know how Madara survived it. He like every minus armor in the game right now on top of him. Still survives <laughs> Oh no! Hook! Oh no, he's gonna get dunked. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> he, he tried to deny that to, to kill that creep on time, but it was too late and he just dies to do it. Uh, there he goes, there comes Spartan. He's here to give out some nice overcharge and some health to Madeira. Yeah, this might just be uh. the end for the Balkan beers here. Uh, I don't know. Madara not dying there was kept, even if he died, it would have just been the ages, right? <laughs> Wouldn't have really changed anything. But the fact that he didn't even die there, because mostly because of Skylark just coming in with the calls at the right time. And once again, last game in the clockwork, this time on the axe. That guy has been doing some work. Yeah, that's a set of racks. And it was. Don't really want to look at the graph. It's kind of scary to see fourteen thousand and more. In favor of LC and more than 25,000 experience, but yeah, that's how the game's been going. He's another Skylark. He also has the BOTs now, which is solid in the play on the bot kill as well. The Tannic just has been finished off on the Gyrocopter. He, so he has a, a Bloodstone, BOTs as well, and also a Blink. He's actually not super farmed, but he has more than enough. Yep. It's just really that gyro man, like how are you gonna kill him? They can still just go again, how many? Yeah. Two minutes left, yeah, they can just start pushing in any lane and just TP there. I mean, right now gyro is unkillable, straight up. Axe also, uh, not unkillable all alone, but... Well, now he has Promise a... <laughs> <laughs> he just has okay, a... Now he is, yeah. <laughs> now, now the team um, is just too strong and yeah, this is just another round of items and this... I don't think Balkan Bears can hold for this. There's no way BB can fight up against both uh, both Axe and Jarcup at the same time. Oh, they even no have way. all that magical damage coming out there from uh, yeah, from a on top of that as well. Yeah. And even Skunk, he's just trying to get an, uh, an Aghanim here. He's just telling his team, guys, guys, don't finish. Don't finish. <laughs> <laughs> I can have Axe, please. I need it for my challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I need Axe before the game ends. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is just looking really grim right now for uh, for the Balkan Bears. Here we go, another tier two down. That was the last outer tower. It's really hard for a castle because you're kind of supposed to be able to find a way. Okay, maybe BB can do it. They kind of just but try to build the height. Honestly, really they, hard they, right now they just can't. They have still a minute left on the Aegis, and before the Aegis is gone, they are able to just get this tower yeah. anyway. Don't have the heroes for it. I mean. Oh, this is just not the um, late game heroes. Yeah. This, this is how it goes. Like, who can try and split push? What they, where's he gonna split push? On bot. They still have a tier 2 there. So, at yeah. best, he's gonna get a tier 2 and then they're gonna lose another set of wrecks. Well, then for London Conspiracy, it's just a question of rinse and repeat and then just go bot. Yeah. They have the three yeah. ads nicely spread out. <laughs> nice cone there, but yeah, the Madeira, he just gets the tower. Nothing to lose, everything to gain right now for LC is they just have. The tower up top here, and yeah, as I said, and they don't want to jump in. Still a way. decent time, yeah. It can't even kill him once. Oh, right Aegis is gonna is attack. gonna be lost now. They're backing up. There we go. It is yeah. So now uh, they might just back off. They you know they have their wins. They got a yeah. they got a tower. There we go. Yeah. We'll just reset now. Look for a pick off or the next watch, and then just uh, end the game with that. They don't want to overcommit here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if they want to, if they can get a pick off here with Spot now on the Wisp, then that should be the word go for them. Or or, or just have the next rush hand, but uh, honestly, they should feel comfortable enough to take the take the fight even without that. Because I mean, you have the BKB, you have the Stangler, you shouldn't even die without the Aegis. So 
Well, maybe make a play on the bottom lane next after farming up the jungle a little bit. Just make sure that you have to put your shuttle and buyback in case you need it. Yeah, and, and then the Botsy just pushes is of course the BOTs. He doesn't have his yeah. buyback now though. After he sells his boots, uh, it should be about nah, a little bit off. But he's able to yeah. farm it up quite fast anyway. Maybe then they have a refresh orb now as well on Fischer. So. Thanks. Yeah, Hook, you don't want to fight versus uh, versus Zeus. Yeah, you're not gonna win this one. Yeah. yeah it's so much damage up, and I mean, there's the BKBs now on Exist and Dragon Knight, but they only last for so long, right? So long as five seconds? Either, oh no, so eight. <laughs> Actually, the BKBs are still fairly fresh, so both eight seconds. Yeah, yeah, just because it took them so long to actually get them up in the first place. <laughs> kind of... Um, yeah, it's kind it of... It goes a, both ways. It's a little bit better and a little bit worse. And they're actually gonna look to end it right now. They're gonna go top. They wanna end it. They're done. Yep. All the lanes are pushed out decently well here. Madara now sitting in the front line. Let's still be able to be bursted down. With oh, the there, there they go. They wanna go there. Maybe up in time. He does get it off in time. Satanic, is he gonna use it? He still hasn't even used his Satanic yet. Now he's gonna use it and he's gonna start healing up. But it's a already a little bit too late. There we go, he will go down. So there are already two people down. They have to buy back first, second buy back as well. Triple kill going for Keyser. That's his Zeus, man. The damage. And they just back off. Hey, what? <laughs> what? Buy back? Like they wanna go? They wanna okay. go, yeah. Yeah, but Lyra, he's back in here. Sprout is a little bit off the mark, we'll just use it to get a little bit of an uh, three ends going there. And Miracle, he Miracle. gets pulled into. And there is gonna be the dunk. Yeah, no. Exist, he gets the crush off on the other hand though. But they look at this damage coming out of him. He's down as well. Miracle buys back, but really. Die back for Exist. GG well played, yeah. A little bit weird, I mean, Madara didn't need to die there if he popped the satanic. And dunk! No, no dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. No, no dunk. He's still gonna kill. Fantasy points down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> Never bet on people that still keep on fighting after GG. Or at least... Don't put those kind of bets in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, a little bit of a warm-up game in game 1 maybe for LC. They kind of really cheeky play in, in game 2 and 3. Not so much. Play very solid here, very, very safe, very strong. Kind of a lot of conspiracy that we know and that we can that we can expect and BB. I mean, just not with the draft to actually go into this phase of the game and just to the fact that existed did get his blink deck way too late. Miracle also shut down early, didn't get the get the shadow blade. So LC just were with the hands on the trigger for this entire game and yeah, ended up netting them the win two one and they will fight up against I want to say Power Rangers in the upper bracket finals. Is that right? Or am I just... Uh... No, you're correct. They're going to be facing up for our Rangers. Oh yeah, Our favorite nice. team. Pretty much, yeah. Go, oh, no, not your favorite Rangers. team. Sorry, that wasn't my autocaster of this afternoon. He was a real PR uh, fanboy. <laughs> well, I like PR, but it's uh, not my favorite team just yet. Yeah, they, It's they, my they... sports right now. <laughs> I know, you have been talking about them every uh, pass, yeah. watching their games. <laughs> Talking about what Black is doing right then and right now, but that was actually indeed uh, the game for today. And BBC, uh, London Conspiracy, I mean, they're gonna be facing up versus Power Rangers in the winners' final. Both teams they're already in the money uh, because of that. Just at the moment, it starts with 500 euros. If they win the match, you're essentially in 1500 or 3000 euros already. So, next match is gonna be a big one between those two. However, BBC they have to face up versus 99%, uh, aka my insanity, in the, in the loser bracket. So it's going to be best of three, so it's not just one game and out. So we'll see how they're going to perform on that. And that was actually all for it for today. With me was uh, Dragon Drop Dota. And I hope you enjoyed casting today. Yeah, I did. It was a lot of fun. And thanks for having me once again. Yeah, no problem, man. Well, I want to, you know, thank all of our sponsors again. Uh, eBattle, Intel, Republic of Gamers, as well as HyperX, as well as... Uh, actually, also Phenomax, thank you for moderating into the chat. I see you typing a lot, and... Yeah, that was it for today. I assume I'll be sticking around a little bit more into the uh, into the Twitch chat, talk a bit, put on some music, and uh, that was it for today. I uh, hope to see you guys soon again.